hi we are from at home tuition in this video we are going to see few problems based on the applications of various properties of rational numbers so first we will going to see the reciprocal of a given rational number then we are going to identify what property the given question is based on and we are also going to find the multiplicative inverse of a given number so the first question is multiply 6 by 13 by the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16. So, we will write the given question in our understanding terms. So, that is 6 by 13 multiply 1 divide minus 7 divided by 16. So, the reciprocal of minus 7 divided by 16 is 1 divided by minus 7 by 16. So, now we will take the reciprocal first. So, the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 is 1 divided by minus 7 by 16. That is nothing but 16 divided by minus 7. So, we can rearrange the 16 by minus 7 as minus 16 by 7. So, next step. So, we are writing 6 by 13 times the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16. So, that is 6 by 13 times the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 is minus 16 by 7. So, now if you look into this, this is nothing but multiplication of two rational numbers. So, we are multiplying the numerator and denominator separately. So, the numerator is 6 times minus 16 divided by the denominator is 13 times 7. So, 6 times minus 16 is minus 96 and 13 times 7 is 91. So, the answer is you will get minus 96 divided by 91. Next question is tell what property allows you to compute 1 by 3 times 6 times 4 by 3 as 1 by 3 times 6 times 4 by 3. So, solution. So, now we are rearranging the given question that is 1 by 3 times 6 times 4 by 3 is equal to 1 by 3 times 6 times 4 by 3. So, now if you look into the question, we can see the form that the question is given the form of A times B times C equals B times A times C. So, we can clearly say that this is associative property of multiplication of rational numbers. Next question is, is 8 by 9 the multiplication inverse of minus 1 times 1 by 8? Why or why not? So, now we will first write the question in the form of our understanding terms. So, is yes, 8 by 9 times minus 1 times 1 by 8 is equal to 1 or not. We will check whether this is equal to 1 or not. So, we know that the multiplication inverse of a rational number say a by b is b by a. That is, if you multiply the number and its multiplicative inverse, you should get the result as 1. So, if the given rational number is a by b, then if you multiply that number by its inverse, that is multiplicative inverse b by a, then you will get the result as 1. So, now the given rational number is 8 by 9 and it is minus 1 times 1 by 8. So, it is a mixed number. Now, we will convert this into a fraction. So, 1 time 8 times minus 1 is minus 8 plus 1. So, that is nothing but minus 7 divided by 8. So, now if you look into this, this will be in the form of a multiplication of two rational numbers. So, for this we can multiply numerator and denominator separately. So, if you multiply numerator and denominator separately, we will get 8 times minus 7 divided by 9 times 8. So, if you simplify that, you will get minus 7 divided by 9. So, this is not equal to 1. So, therefore, 8 by 9 is not the multiplicative inverse of minus 1 times 1 by 8. 8. Next question is, if 0 0.3, the multiplicative inverse of 3 times 1 by 3. So, why or why not? Solution. So, is 0 0.3 times 3 1 by 3 is equal to 1 or not? This is what we were going to find. It is equal to 1 or not. So, now we know that the multiplicative inverse of a rational number is a by, if it is a by b is a rational number, then its multiplicative inverse is b by a. So, if you multiply the number and its multiplicative inverse, you should get 1. 
okay so now we are going to do this so now this is 0.3 times 3 times 1 by 3 so 3 times 1 by 3 is a mixed number we are writing it as a fraction so 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 it's 10 so 10 by 3 so 0.3 times 10 by 3 now 0.3 can be written in the fraction form as 3 by 10 so 3 by 10 times 10 by 3 so 3 times 10 divided by 10 times 3 since it's a multiplication we are multiplying numerator and denominator separately so we'll get the result as 1 so we can clearly say that 0.3 is the multiplicative inverse of 3 1 by 3 next question is write the rational number that does not have a reciprocal so you want to identify a number that should be a rational number which does not have any reciprocal so we can say that all the rational numbers can be expressed in the form of a by b so if the reciprocal of a by b is b by a so you have to find a rational number such that you can write it in the a by b form but you cannot write it in b by a form so we can say that 0 is a rational number right so 0 can be expressed as 0 by 1 but the reciprocal of 0 by 1 is 1 by 0 which is undefined so we can say that 0 is a rational number that does not have any reciprocal next question is the rational numbers that are equal to their reciprocals you have to find the rational numbers which are equal to their reciprocal okay so all the rational numbers can be expressed as a by b form so if it is reciprocals are expressed as b by form b by a form so you have to find a number such that a by b form is equal to b by a form so one is a rational number that is expressed in the re reciprocal as one by one so which is also equal to one so again you can write negative one in the same way so negative one can be expressed as one by negative one which is also equal to negative one so one and negative one are the numbers which is equal to their reciprocals also next question you want to find the rational number that is equal to its negative so previous case we have find out it's equal to the same number this case it's equal to the negative so all the rational numbers can be expressed in the form of a by b so you can say that only rational number 0 is a rational number that can be expressed as 0 by 1 so negative of 0 is nothing but 0 so we can clearly say that 0 is a rational number that is equal to its negative so we have seen three cases 0 is a rational number which does not have the reciprocal again 0 is the rational number which is same as its negative and we have one more seen one more question that is 1 and negative 1 are the rational numbers that can be have same reciprocals thank you for watching the video